not so light. Hello my dear kids, very good evening, this is Sundar Rabindranathan here, hey guys, what's up, Vishnu, hi, Chinmay, Vishnu, Ramachandran, Devya, Devanshi, Vidya, welcome guys, welcome to this very very short and crisp session, see many times we tend to get confused between using been and using gone, alright, Hey, where have you been? All right. How, hey, where have you gone? You understand? I have been to the market. I have gone to the market. All right. So, where should I use been? Where should I use gone? That is typically what we are going to focus on today. Be ready. Okay. And uh, this is going to be a super crisp session. Hardly, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, guys, we will understand the difference between the two words and then we will kind of uh, log out. Yeah, we will have a lovely mentee as well, of course. Ready? So we'll just wait for a few more seconds for more people to join and then we will start. Hi, Vaishnavi. Hi, Vaiba. Welcome back. Tavleen. Hi. Hi, Sneha. Lovely to see all of you guys. How is everybody? Oh, Aryan, so sad. My condolences. Okay. May he rest in peace. Toya Jaksh, hi, welcome back. Hi, Tavleen. HY says, please start, sir. Please start, please start. We will do it. Don't worry. I'm here to start, of course. So, okay, I think it's time we should move on. Hey guys, in case you're wondering, if you are new to this particular session and you're wondering what is this channel all about? This channel typically is for 6th, 7th and 8th grade students. And uh, academically, we got you covered for math, science, social and English grammar. So, entire year syllabus for CBSE. And uh, yes, every session is a live session followed by a quest. Non-academically, you will also have uh, a series on space, a series on how does different different things work, stuff like touch screen, airbags, drones, lot of stuff and a GK quiz is also there, lot of things guys. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, you will have a lot of learning and lot of fun. Yeah. And yes, in case you like, you are looking to learn from us master teachers and you want to pick up a very very good subscription with all features at the best price, you know what? Vedantu has come out with a lovely subscription. The link for that subscription is in the description box. Make use of it. And you also get, it will be, you know, one class will be as low as rupees 9. Just 9 rupee per class. So, and to additionally, you will also get a discount. Note this down, S-R-P-R-O. To get a good discount. Cool, guys? Awesome. Okay, guys. Now, the subscription has unlimited live classes. That means, you know, you will be able to la learn with a lot of interactive quizzes. You can have replays, compete with students across the globe. We'll become super strong. All right. And anytime you can revisit the session with replays, download content, uh, you know, handwritten content of uh, teachers who give you notes. Any number of doubts inside the class, they get it solved, periodical tests and assignments to see how well you have understood whatever that was taught. Along with all these things, 5000 plus topic wise, chapter wise, micro courses and uh, you also get free crash courses if you to help you prepare well for all kinds of competitive exams, multiple different different ones. Okay guys, so you have a lot of classes in the subscription, very less price as low as 9 rupees I told you already. So that is unbelievable, isn't it? Make use of it guys. The link is there once again in the description box. And the coupon code is S-R-P-R-O. Okay. Alright. Been and gone. Guys, I'm going to make it super crisp. And be with me. Learn it. So that we jump into a mentee and rock and roll. Alright. 
here we go been or gone which should i use for that you need to know when what are the circumstances or the scenarios under which the rules governing the use of been so generally been and gone are often confused by english lang language learners <coughs> okay so typically where should you use been where should you use gone all right so been means a being uh, you know a to be form that means what all right which is been at the same time gone means what to go he is he has he has gone somewhere correct so now starting with been guys remember this whenever you use been i repeat we can okay, watch this very carefully whenever you use use been that means where you have gone somewhere and you also come back the place there you have indicated you are no longer there you have come back from that place you know what i have been to london that means what you have been you have come back so it is more denoting the past the the place which you are denoting it has happened in the past and from that place you have come back so it is very well in the past major are you clear guys all of you you use been we had already been to london or she has been to madrid that means what she went and came back so in madrid you know when she was there it is in the past it is over she has come back now are you clear come on let me see give me a yo come on come on come on guys waiting eagerly for all of you super simple right so the person is no longer there whenever you say use been however all right where is sundar sundar has gone to the market that means what he is still in the market are you guys understanding the difference okay awesome so in contrast gone is used to show that the person is not at present in this place wherever you are right and he has gone in that to the place which you are speaking about referring to he is still there say so guys i repeat i had been to london that means what right now i am here but i have been there and come back this is been all right so he has gone to the market that means what he is not here now and right now there it's just the opposite Are you guys getting it? So where is Sally? I haven't seen her for a while. She is not here. She has gone to Canada. That means what? Right now she is not here. All right. I have been to Canada means what? I have been there and I have come back. Right now I am here. So it's exactly or almost the opposite of the way we use been. So guys, are you clear? Super. Right. Awesome, guys. So look at the example. Where is Sally? You know, the example shows that the per present perfect and the auxiliary verb has. That means what? Sally is not present in that location. She has come back. If it is gone, it is completely the other way around. she has gone to canada that means what she is there and not here cool been means so comparison same sentence look at the comparison gone and been graham has gone to the supermarket this means he is still there in the supermarket graham has been to the supermarket as he has visited and come back he is not there anymore guys i hope all of you are clear till this Come on come on come on give me a yo Waiting for your lovely yos Awesome what's happening Beta singer Amog 
whenever you use been that means what you are referring to a place where you have you know been there in the past you have traveled in the past and you have returned as well but gone means you have gone to a place and you are still there you are not in you know currently you are there to the place where you are referring to been what whichever place you are referring to you are not there currently you have come back from that place cool amog are you clear now ha varshita menti aayega abhi ek minute wait karo all right hi bitu kumar how are you yeah graham has been to the supermarket yes that means he has gone to the supermarket and he has come back cool viju what is the what is the confusion here it's pretty simple right gone means you have gone there you are still there see someone is coming to your home asking your mom hey where is graham Graham has gone to the supermarket. That means what? He has gone there. He has not come back. He is still there. Are you clear? Superb. Now time for a menti. Oh, one more, one more small. Guys, gone can also. It also has one more meaning, which is disappear. You know what? Till now he was here. Suddenly I see that he is gone. That means what? He, this guy. he left he disappeared oh dear my wallet is gone i think i've lost it that means what wallet is disappeared could be stolen could be whatever it is getting it so gone has one more meaning which is it is no longer there it has a meaning gone has one more meaning which typically is no longer there lovely isn't it guys once for all give me a clear yo that you are super clear uh, with respect to the difference when it comes to using been and using gone come on hi gulshan how are you lovely name keep it up <laughs> hi others yeah i got it okay shall we jump to a menti right Guys, once for all, coupon code is SRPRO for the description. Uh, I mean, the, for the subscription, which is there in the description box. <laughs> hey, guys, one more announcement. Uh, going forward, you will see, you know, the next day. Today, if the session is happening tomorrow, and all, you will see that we, you will have PDFs for your reference because the exam time is coming, right? We will be uploading PDFs of sessions. So, whatever session I am taking now, you will get PDFs tomorrow in the description box. make use of it download them keep it them for your permanent reference all the very best for your exams cool awesome so guys moving on to a menti i want all of you to go to uh, a separate website a separate browser window and type the website name www world wide web www.menti.com m e n t i menti.com So the website address is menti.com. Hello, Ankit. Kartike Mishra, pranam, beta. Guys, only two things you have to remember. Whenever you use been, all right? I had been, you know. Uh, where have you been? Yeah, I had been to the market. That means. you have gone to the market done your work purchase whatever it is and you have come back whereas all right where is sundar sundar has gone to the market that means he has he has gone there he is still there so no question of returning back all right okay so uh, this is a major change the gone also has another meaning which is no longer there that means what Hey, where is your wallet? Oh my God, wallet is gone. I don't know where I missed it. That means what? Wallet is no longer there. This is all you got to remember, guys. Clear? 
code for menti everyone is saying code 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 for today's menti question number 1 come on come on come on the code is 6393046 my dear kids once you go to menti.com it will ask you for a quiz code you have to type the code Alam Barbuya. Beta has is always a singular word. Auxiliary but singular. So she has gone to the market. You can't say they has gone to the market, right? Okay, they have gone to the market is what you will say. You understand? When it comes to plural, you can't use has. Got it? Okay, I think it's time. Question number one on your screens. She is dash out for lunch. She will be back at 2 o'clock. Guys, look at the second sentence. You will know which is the right answer. Is it not? Exactly. Exactly. Gone. Guys, she has been out for lunch. How can you know? I told you guys thousand times that whenever you use been, that means they have come back. But here what is mentioned? She will be back only at 2 o'clock. So she has gone out for lunch. She will be back at 2. Mm. Come on, come on, come on. Pratham, Riya, Danvin, Avishyant and Ramana. Top 5. Varshini, Padhyala, Vijay, Aditya and Siddharth. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. My dear kids, question number 2. Here we go. Have you ever dashed to pray? Have you ever dashed to pray? Been or gone? Super simple, is it not? Guys, if you don't know the mistake, there are a lot of chances you will use gone. Is it not? If you don't know the difference, alright, you will many a time there are chances you will say, have you ever gone to pray? Do you agree? Accept what I am saying? We might by mistake say, have you ever gone to pray? But remember, gone can never you be used, alright, if you have come back. See here, I am in a currently in some other place. Two people are conversing and I am asking my friend, both of us are talking. Have you ever gone to pray? That means the usage is wrong because I have come back and that's why I am able to talk to that person. So when you use been, that means you have gone and come back. So been is the right way to use, the right usage for it. So have you ever been to pray? Superb. Now. So Pratham, looks like Danvin is back. Danvin, Pratham, Hemant, Ramana, Vishyam, top 5. Varshini, Aditya, Kushal, Adya and Siddharth. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number 3 guys, on your screens now. I'll speak to him tomorrow, he is dash home. Alright, I will speak to him tomorrow. He is not here. He is dash home. Been or gone?
Anambasi, Prague is a place, beta. Okay, it's not Prague, it's Prague. Gone. He's gone home. He's not come back, right? Look at it. He's not here, so I can't talk to him now. I'll talk to him tomorrow. He's gone home. Got it? Donwen, Donwen. Yeah, looks like Donwen is a top. Hmm. Danvin, Ramana, Varshini, Kushal, Ayushi. Adya, Srinik, Nikhil, Asmita, Narush. So guys, question number four. He is just dashed to the bank. So you could ask him to lend you some money. Been gone. Guys, watch the second part of the sentence very carefully. Otherwise, you will definitely make a mistake. No, 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 no. You guys, many of you are making a mistake. No, no, wrong. See, guys. See here. You know what? There are three people. Two of two friends are talking. Hey, you know what? He has just been to the bank here. He has gone and come back. So you can ask him money. You understand? If it is gone, then it is ideally like you can ask him money once he comes back. That's not what it is. He has just been to the bank. That means what? He has just gone to the bank and come back. You can go ahead and ask him money. Understanding? I hope with every single you know question, you're getting more clarity about been and gone. Kushal, Srinik, Arush. No, no, no. There is a change. Kushal, Srini, Karu, Shashwat and Nicholas. Top 5. Ankit, Kiran, Kanasu, Akshita and Pari. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guys, I think I spoke about it. Just a quick uh, reminder that this subscription, the link for the same is pasted in your description box. Make use of it. The coupon code is SRPRO. As less as 9 rupees per class. Question number 5. 3 more to go. Where have you, Dash? I have been waiting for an hour. Guys, look at the context. You are talking to that person. So now pick the right answer. Rajati Yuraj, please tell me one. What is your question? <clears> hmm. <throat> Gone will not come, guys. See here, that guy is coming back. Looking at him, you are asking, hey, where have you been? I've been waiting for a long time. Right? He has gone and come back. Whenever someone has gone and then returned, you should always use been. This is what I've been telling you, right? If I'm asking some third person, I say, where has he gone? Right? Because you have not come back. So if I'm asking someone else, saying, where has he gone? That is right. But I am asking you. Use, look at the word you. Where have you been? You have come back now. Mm. Interesting, isn't it? Srinik, Shashwa, Tanket, Nicholas, Kiran. Top 5. Akshita, Sahil, the Great, Swamini, Danvin, and Avishyant. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Question number six. Two more to go. Yeah, Kartik, no one picked it up, unfortunately. Has anyone seen my calculator? It's dash missing. Very tricky, guys. This one is super tricky. Look at it. That's why you are most of you have chosen bean also. Guys, whenever... You know what? Oh, you know what? I just found if you are saying... Guys, I want you to watch very carefully. If you are saying something like, 
my god at last i found my calculator that is you got it back it's been missing for a while then it is right but what is given here it is gone it is not i am not able to get it back so has anyone seen my calculator it's gone missing that means what it is no longer there getting it cool guys it's a pretty informative quiz trust me all of you shrinik shrinik is well he is having a good lead now okay kiran shri nicolas akshita sahil top 5 swamini danven ramana bikta varshin so we never thought there will be a such a very minute differences uh, you know so many minute differences between been and gone right see how tricky it is and many a times till now we would have made so many mistakes using been and gone at wrong places that's why this particular session is super interesting question number 7 one more to go and what is the question his parents are very worried he is dash missing for a week now guys he is not back he is still missing now choose the answer at the trick here <laughs> he is been missing for a week now right see guys this is a rule exception all right do not confuse yourself with this i'll explain it again separate part for now i don't want because already you guys are a little confused you in class that means what Kiran, Akshita, Danvin, Bikta, and Srinik, top five. Shreya, Arushi, Ayans, Ashmita, Nicholas, Ayans, and Ashmita. Six, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Vaishnavi, hi. we will do one more part of this only that exception alone i'll teach okay i'm not teaching this now i can't for now i can't find it i had it this morning but right now it's not there guys so what do you all put be not gone morning it was there now it is not there gone super now most of you got it right very clear So who's going to win? Is it Shrinik? No, Kiran Shri looks like it. Wow, look at that. Big difference. Kiran Shri is winning the quest today. Awesome. Lovely Kiran Shri. Keep it up. Akshita, Danven, Bigta, Shreya, top 5. Shrinik, Nicholas, Ashmita, Ayan and Dr. Santipet. Hey guys, now the basic rules with which you know where to use bean and when to use what gone clear lovely guys hit the like button let me know you liked it tomorrow guys you know what there is a quiz on harry potter i want everyone to flood tomorrow in the evening me or uh, pratesh sir or priya ma'am will take so be there ready okay so for now in case you have not subscribed please subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much my dear kids Lovely interacting with all of you. Have a lovely Saturday evening and a complete weekend. It's so Sunday. Bye bye for now from Sundar Ravindranath and take care. Time will be seven pm.